previously on Tom Rabbit. That there, it is, there is no reason to believe in such a thing. That, for instance, is why I don't believe in Satan. It doesn't follow that there's not a hey, God. Dars. Sorry, Dr. We're having a conversation here. Okay, but okay, no, not, you, you can't interrupt. Okay, go ahead. I'm not interrupting. Okay, go ahead, Dr. Gershaw. I think that we've just lost. No, him. we haven't lost him. I've just put him in timeout. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, to yeah, believe- if you do that again, I'm just going to Oh, uh, sorry, continue. I apologize for that you know childish what? behavior. He really is childish, and I just... I'm, thinking it would be nice to talk with somebody who would behave politely and reasonably. Yeah, Darth, uh, this is your last chance. Are you willing to stop interrupting? Uh, yeah, if you this will be your last chance. If you need... I... Sorry, uh, Darth wouldn't behave. So, anyways, I, I hope... Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom... Because I told him I didn't want to be lectured to. I wanted to have a conversational interaction. Right? So you can check it out on Canadian Catholic's channel. And in fact, Canadian Catholic just kicked me off the stream. See, that's the problem with some of these uh, these PhD types. They're so accustomed to people being sycophantic and obsequious. Yes, professor. Yes, professor. And they think that they're in front of a classroom when they're in a one-on-one debate. Okay. And what he wants to do is... He wants me to say a couple of words, and then he wants to monologue for 10 minutes, right? Check it out. You'll, I think you'll find it amusing. Yeah, I was listening to it. I just, I, I would never, I mean, given the, the just the sheer multitude of, of occurrences, um, you know, with, with yeah. Canadian Catholic he was moderating. Trying, and it's just, he was it's just trying, terrible. yeah, this guy was trying to monopolize the majority of time as though I was some peon. Because he has the PhD and I don't. I was told repeatedly, and I stated on camera, that this was supposed to be a conversational interaction. I don't mind him responding for a while, but what I do mind is being lectured to or monologued to. I want to have a back and forth, right? And you see, this this is why the, the guy was getting upset, because he's so accustomed to being in a classroom situation where they monologue, monologue, and lecture and lecture, which is fine for that setting, right? So the, the, the point is that these people don't want to be challenged unless they, 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 they have an, uh, an unrestricted length, length of time to monologue and to lecture. So Canadian Catholics are scumbag. So the point, the point is I was told it was going to be a conversational interaction. And it turns out this, this, this guy wanted to, to, to monologue and lecture me. What was he, what was he lecturing about? Was it, was it about science? Well, <laughs> Well, he's, he, he has a PhD in philosophy, and he's going on and on and on, and he says there's no God, and I, I held his feet to the fire. I said, you're either going to, and this is at the tail end of it, I said, if you say that there is no God, that there, what is ultimate, the source of all possibility is not a mind, I said, you're going to have to do one of two things. You're either going to have to tell me what is ultimate and that it's not a mind. Right. Or if you deny that anything is ultimate, you're going to have to tell me how you know that nothing at all is ultimate. How do you even know that? Right. And he started responding, you know, by saying, well, I have no reason to believe this is an appeal to incredulity. This guy had a Ph.D. in philosophy and he was about to be smoked even further. But Canadian Catholic kicked me. Right. Because when I asked the guy the question. He starts responding, not answering a question, and I said, "You're not answering the question, right?" Look, we're building building up a team of philosophers, Darth. We've got the we need a name. You know what I mean for the Darth University. You know all of well, the guys that have learned philosophy yeah. from the Darth well, University. Well, you know, yeah. So you know, the next time that the, which there probably won't be a next time with Canadian Catholic, I'm going to start a stream, okay? Because I'm not going to put up with this bullshit, right? That all this guy wanted yeah. to do, you can go back to the video. Jay Ro- is Jay Robin here? No, he's not. All he wanted yeah, to do was all he okay, okay. So you listen to it. Okay. Now be ruthlessly honest with me. Did you feel like that like this guy, uh, because he has a PhD, he does it for a living and he teaches students, that I made it clear to him that I didn't want to be monologued and lectured, okay? That I wanted to, to be a free form inter- interaction. And he wanted to go on and on and on and on and on, okay, without me being able to interject 
and call them into question. Right? Yeah, that was exactly what happened. And when and when you actually okay. pointed out that he was giving an appeal to incredulity, you could see the deer in the headlights, and then he tried to act oh, angry I know, I and know, fake outrage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see, this is what happens with some of these more academic wonks when they when they get outsmarted, they get pissed. Okay. Notice what I notice what I said to him. The only okay. way that you would say. So I said to Jay Robin, remember I said to him, I said, the only way that you can say that God does not exist is you're going to have to tell me what is ultimate um, and that it's not God. What What is it? And I said, if you don't do that, your only alternative is to tell me how you know that nothing at all is ultimate. You'll notice that when he began to answer, he wasn't answering it. He just goes, well, we don't have any reason to believe, blah, 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 which he was making an appeal to incredulity. He got smoked. Okay. Yep. And, th and this is what some of these guys do. They go into lecture mode when they get seriously challenged. We try to re-divert the conversation onto a topic that they know well, often, um, yeah, at, all, you, you, all, you, at, yes. at any cost. And then if they, they if just you, start you, monologuing you, about if, that for yeah, ages. If you, get stumped, if you get stumped by a question, just pretend that you're not stumped. Start giving an answer and then turn that into a segue to monologue on some semi-related issue, okay? And you run the clock out, okay? And I, I pointed out to him, did I not, Jay, uh, point out several times uh, that I wanted this to be a back and forth interaction, not a Q&A of me asking questions and him monologuing and lecturing me? Didn't I make that clear? Right. Yep. And that's not how he wanted it. He wanted this to be like an AMA, you know? I never should have trusted Canadian Catholic. Never should have trusted him. Well, you know, you, you, you kind of notice this pattern. He'll, um, he'll, he'll ask you to join it. You join, he acts, you know, he, he has terrible moderation and then he'll like leave for, leave for an extended period of time. Hopefully kind of, we kind of forget and we get softer feelings for, for his moderation and then he just no, does it again. Yeah, notice, notice, notice that this PhD in philosophy could not defend his atheism any better than your typical atheist. He kept on resorting, well, we don't have any evidence. We don't have any evidence. It's a PhD in philosophy, and he couldn't do any better than a teenage atheist on Discord. Well, he no, said we we, we don't have any we don't have any evidence for God. He said, "I said, well, how do you know that all the facts that you believe in don't stand in necessity of God?" And then he just regurgitates the same old claptrap, you know. Oh, I don't believe that there's anything ultimate. Well, how how do you know that there's nothing ultimate? How did you determine that? And then he started making the appeal to incredulity. Oh, well, we, we don't believe in things if we don't have a reason reason to believe in it, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, that's a bad argument. Yeah, I did make a mistake, though, okay? I should have told a Canadian um, Catholic that, um, that he's going to have to appear on my stream with him and me, okay? So he, he pulled it again. Mm. This guy... Um, and Jay Robbins seems to agree with me. He 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 wanted to be in lecture mode, right? Rather rather than this was supposed to be a face face off between the two of us. Okay, it was supposed to be a level playing field, right? But Jay Robin, did you think that this guy had the mindset that it was supposed to be a level playing field of 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 point counterpoint? No. Not at all. No, he wanted to be treated that he was at a higher level. That's that's ultimately what he thought he was there for. He thought he was there to, to yeah. do that. I, you know? I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if somebody like James Anderson, okay, Professor James Anderson were debating somebody, I watched him deal with that schmuck, um, T-Jump, and T-Jump was acting like an ignoramus, and, and James Anderson kept his cool the whole time. Right. That's because James Anderson is a humble man. You know, so what am I going to do? Sit there. Am I going <laughs> to sit there and not object to this guy monologuing right. with me? The, the biggest question for me is why on earth, after all this time, do you expect Canadian Catholic to be anything other than a slime? I man? know you are absolutely right. My my bad. We, we you know, to, to even think that he's going to be something that he's not. I mean, it's like asking a, a snake not to bite you. It, look, so what, look, he, he, he does, 
look, look, he, 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 he's caught to, he goes, well, the guy's on right now. Can you come on right now? You know? So I came on. All right. But if you, if you get a chance, I don't know if you've seen the interaction, Tim, just go on to Canadian Catholic channel. It's not that long. Right. So this guy kept on going, well, we don't have any reason to believe that there's ultimate. Oh, we don't have any evidence for that. Well, how do you, okay. That means that you've determined that facts have proximate relations, but that when we pursue that their proximate relations, they finally terminate and they, they don't terminate in an ultimate. How do you know that? This is just appeal to incredulity on his part. And he says, well, we don't have evidence. Well, how do you how do you know the facts that you're acquainted with don't terminate in an ultimate? How do you know that? And it's like, oh, uh, we don't have any evidence for it. It's, it's just repeating the same claim again. What what he was saying was no more. It was slightly more sophisticated than your a- average knuckle dragging atheist who comes on to Discord. Well, the 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 problem is. No matter what you present with him, he's going to push the evidence off the table. He's just going to say, there is no evidence, there is no evidence, no matter what evidence you, you, you give him. So if he doesn't accept any evidence, this argument from evidence is just stupid. So I don't, I don't think I actually acted inappropriately. I think that he took issue because uh, he wanted to be treated like he's Mr. Ivory Tower, you know. I mean, please be ruthlessly honest with me, Jay Robin. Did you think that I was rude at any point? I think that's true for for most most um, most encounters that you have. It's not that you're being rude or anything. It's just that people aren't following the guidelines that have been set out previous to the conversation, and they just expect to go on and on and on. But that's not really what this. I mean, I sat is. there and listened each time he answered, but at a certain point, I'm going to just say, you know. Um, I want to interject. I want this to be. I I said it several times. I thought this right. was supposed to be back and forth instead of the, you know Jay just lecturing me. Uh, it's funny uh, because I, I... you know. Sorry, you say you say to them, you say, "Well, what's your standard of evidence?" They say they're a pragmatist, so you give them a practical argument, and they don't accept it. And then you say they 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 say, um, "Do you know that they want logical arguments?" So you give them a logical argument, and then they won't accept that. And you know, they say they're empirically, you know, that they believe it in justification through like empiricism and stuff like that. And then you give them an empirical argument and they don't accept that either. I mean, it's like, no matter, even if you get them to admit the way that they justify things and then appeal to that, then they still don't accept it. It's, it's just unbelievable. Like they, they're, they're so inconsistent. It's, you can't really make an argument to pin them down because even and, if you make and, an argument, and, they just... And he tried to make a big deal uh, out of the uniformity of nature versus laws of nature. Okay. And I can understand if one wants to make a distinction between the uniformity on a grand scale versus on a local scale, but it's really, it's, it's not really important. It's not really important to the conversation. Yeah. It, the, the problem is with many of these PhD atheists, they do not like being challenged. Yeah, I've noticed that. Like, the smarter the people are, you know, obviously, um, for a long time. Now, I've always tried to like, talk in really layman's terms. I, I don't like to overcomplicate things, so I refuse to learn all the $20 words and stuff to us. And so it's like these guys, they're just using, like, semantic games to try to um, make make themselves look clever. But if you if you show them in a really simple way how they're arguments are flawed then they just get angry you know they'll start calling you names and stuff like that rather than actually addressing the arguments which is yeah i've had that happen on a number of occasions you know his first line of reasoning was was to say um well god doesn't exist because we they believe in the big bang i mean i couldn't believe my ears when i was hearing it God doesn't exist because he believes in the Big Bang. What does is that? What the guy just said to you? That was that was one of his first. Li- well, go to Canadian Catholics channel and listen to it. This was one of his first lines of reasoning. Okay, I mean it was that bad. That is look. It, w- it would have got. It would have. It would have gone on a lot longer, and this guy would have got even further smoked. But this this guy was haughty. He want he wanted to have be an uh, be unrestricted in his lecturing. 
And I repeated several times. I, I was told that this was going to be a free form interaction. See, this is the problem when you talk with some of these PhD types, right? They're not accustomed to being in, on a level playing field being challenged. They may be challenged when they're the professor and they can monologue, right, to their students. Yeah, I thought um, that Canadian Catholic guy had quit on Discord completely because, you know, he's like sick of getting wrecked online, but... I guess he's still doing his thing just on YouTube, which is funny. Yeah, well, I won't be appearing on his streams anymore. By the way, did you get that Tom Rabbit? 